everyone, I'm Nick Reinhardt, and I'd like to introduce you to the Fender Hammertone pedals. And in this video, we'll be checking out the time-based pedals in the series, which are the Delay, Space Delay, and Reverb. Super cool pedals, they're compact with player-friendly features, and they sound great. They've got top-mounted jacks to make it a little easier to assemble a solid pedal board, and they're all true bypass and built like a tank. So let's go through each individual pedal one at a time, check out the features, and hear what they sound like. I'm using a 68 Custom Pro Reverb, and the bypass tone sounds like this. Delay. Delay is a great effect to add some depth and space to your tone. You can sweeten your leads, get that classic country slapback, longer delays for dramatic swells, and huge ambient washes. Delay is used in just about every genre of guitar music. The hammer tone delay provides up to 950 milliseconds of delay. You can add a lush modulation at the flick of a switch, and you have three different delay types to choose from. Super clean digital delay, warm analog delay, and a crisp tape echo. One really cool feature is that this pedal has analog dry through, which keeps your tone pure when the effect is on. Let's run through the controls. You got feedback for amount of repeats, time for shorter or longer delays, level for overall delay level, delay type switch, and a modulation switch, which activates a swirling choral effect on the repeats, and then the rate and depth for the modulation can be adjusted with the internal trim pots. Next we have space delay. So if you're going for an ambient kind of thing, I think the space delay is probably gonna give you the most options when it comes to building a massive wall of sound. Space delay has a nice warm analog style saturation and a gorgeous tape warble. You can set it to be subtle and natural or go big and achieve oscillating waves and super long repeats. This one also features analog dry through to keep your tone sounding pure along with the delay effect.
let's check out the controls. You got feedback for amount of repeats, time for shorter or longer delays, level for overall delay level, and the pattern switch that selects between three separate delay patterns to emulate classic tape echo units, and just like the delay, the modulation switch adds a swirling choral effect on the repeats and the rate and depth can be adjusted with the internal trim pots. Finally, we have reverb. Reverb is a great effect to add some space or ambience to your sound. The hammer tone reverb delivers three classic reverb effects, hall, room, and plate. It also has a tone switch which tames the high frequencies and allows the reverb to sit more naturally in the mix. Let's take a look at the controls. Over here, you got time for reverb length, damp, which rolls off highs more gradually and eventually clamps down on the reverb tails, level for overall reverb level, type for your three different reverb types, and a tone switch. So it has three different reverbs. I'll go through each one individually and we'll mess around with the controls. We'll start with hall, which emulates the sound of a large space, then room, which emulates a smaller acoustic space, and finally plate, which is a high-end reverb typically used in studios and lends itself nicely to ambient tones for guitar.
All right, three really cool pedals from the Fender Hammertone series. Really nice way to get a bigger sound and add dimension to your sound on stage, recording, or just noodling around at home. Head over to Fender.com, check out all the other pedals in the Hammertone series. There's a handful of drive pedals and some really cool modulation stuff. Check them out, stay tuned here for more pedal demos. I'm gonna add some distortion in this final play to show you how nicely these pedals work together. All right, see ya.